Okay, our next talk is monitoring your system using NixOS. Let's welcome Joao. And hello, everyone. And today I will talk about monitoring your system using NixOS. Uh, uh, let's go to the next slide. And I will talk about Node Exporter. It is a tool to export system metrics like CPU and RAM about your system, your computer. Uh, next, I will talk about Prometheus and how you set up that on NixOS after Grafana. And in the last is how you can use that to monitor an application. Is a sample application. And uh, introducing myself and João. I use Nix on my computer and for other personal projects. And I am Brazilian. Let's go. Uh, starting with Node Exporter, uh, here is the code example that you need to put in your Nix configuration. And it will expose in the port 90,000, or you can change the port. And here is a print screen about the result. Uh, I will show the code here and opening the, the result in a browser. Okay. Okay, here is the example in the code. And it, I am using the same example that yesterday is a Bitcoin node. So let's see it in action. So here is the example. Uh, so every time I update, I had some different data. Uh, okay. And I am exposing it to internet uh, for like during the presentation, maybe one hour later. And the code to expose, I use in tail scale to expose it to internet. Uh, the code is here, and that's it. Let's go back. OK, uh, next, I will go to Prometheus. Okay. And Prometheus is a tool that gets uh, the metrics that I exported here and the metrics that I will export on my application. And, and that is the, code, the Nix code that uh, I need to scrap from my node exporter. And I will show that too. Okay. Here is the, the code, the, the live. So I can get all the metrics starting with node. And here I have a description. Uh, what is that metricing? And I can execute. Okay. Now I will go to Grafana. Okay. Grafana is a place to see the graphics, like you can create a dashboard, import a dashboard, and go around. And here is the code example. And here I am pointing for Prometheus. But you can use Grafana with other tools. Okay, I will show Grafana. Okay, here is the a dashboard of my node exporter. Okay. There are a lot of data. I imported that from the internet. Uh, there is a place there are a lot of dashboards that you can import. It's very easy. Uh, about the import, uh, I did it m manually, but you can use Nix for that. Uh, it's possible. There are some examples at GitHub. And I think it's that. OK, I, I will show here the code. Okay. And here is the code that is pointing to get data from, Grafa from Prometheus using the Grafana. So if you had other tool, you can put here, and it will be on Grafana too. And for example, you can have more than one Prometheus. And for example, this one is working on that machine, 
but you can have a Prometheus running on other server, so it will point for that. And yeah, you can have multiple graphenas. And imagine you, you usually only need one Prometheus. For example, I have one Prometheus here, and I have a, the node exporter on the same machine. But if I have 10, 10 machines, I will have 10 node exporters. But I only need one Prometheus, and each Prometheus will do a get in the route that return the data, and we will scrap it. Okay. Going to the next. Okay, the, the last one is how we can get data from a real application, because the example before is getting data from my computer. So this is the code that I added to my Nix configuration to get the data. I will show in the code. Okay, here is the example. So it's getting from, in the Prometheus configuration, it's getting the, from the Python application. So if I have all the application, I only need to add here and put the URL and port. And I will show the code that I'm running. Okay, so that is the code. It's a very simple code that uses the Prometheus client and it is exposing on port 80,000. So if I go here and run that, I get the data. It's not exposed to internet. And here I run in the application in python.app. And here I had, I created a small shell to run the Python. It was my first time using Nix for Python. And Back to slides. Okay, and for the last, I will show a dashboard with Python. Uh, I searched for a Python dashboard with all data like Node Export, but I didn't find, so I created a, a small example. Uh, I can update it with getting some data from the Python application. And that is it. And the code is on GitHub. Uh, you can check the last commits. Uh, that is it, Severo. Yeah. All right, do we have any questions? So the node exporter and the Prometheus are running on your macOS machine right now? No, they are running on a server in Brazil. I'm using ah, TableScale okay. to access it. And I use it crops to deploy the code. So the code is on my machine, but yeah. Yeah, okay, that was my question because I was asking myself, yeah, what it, is running the Prometheus? It's not easy to run. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that is a, a good question. Uh, that is something that I like to show that I was experimenting. Yeah, I created this shell.nix to run on my machine on macOS. For now, the node export is working, but the Prometheus is not working. I need to create a configuration file, so I need to figure out how to use the Nix code for that. So if someone have more experience in Nix, uh, it's let, I think it's cool to, to run on my machine. For example, if I comment that, it's possible to run Nix shell, and uh, I will have the, the node exporter running on my machine. Using X, okay. and that is it. Hey, thanks for the awesome talk. I saw your amazing talk yesterday as well on the uh, on everything related to Bitcoin. And I was wondering if you use these two together in any which way. Any amount of like Grafana dashboards linked in with any of the things that you're running through your Bitcoin node. Yeah, for now uh, it was something that I, I want to to do. There is a issue open at for more than one year about monitoring in the next Bitcoin repo. So I think with that, uh, maybe tomorrow I can finish that issue. So I need to fix things, but cool. in the way. Hi, very Hi. cool. Uh, I don't remember exactly what you said. Was there some resource you found for Grafana dashboards or did you just 
Google, grep, uh, GitHub to find examples? Yes, uh, I think I can. Yeah, here is the search. I searched for Python, and I don't find a Python Python example. Like, but so basically, we, Grafana themselves has the uh, search board you're using to find. Yes, this is the place that you can search for dashboards. For example, if you search for exported, there are a bunch of examples from Kubernetes, black box exported. Thank you. Welcome. So I was wondering, have you tried uh, monitoring NixOS applications that run in NixOS containers at all? No, for now I didn't test it, but I think it's something cool to do. Uh, I need to search more about it. Right, because uh, why I haven't like really embraced NixOS containers is because like uh, every container is basically a small NixOS node with systemd and et cetera. And basically you end up having a bunch of node exporters or service exporters. And I was looking at like various mm -hmm. uh, sort of ways to aggregate that and not scrape each container, but yeah, I haven't found an ideal solution yet. Yeah, if you have the port to open, uh, I think you can connect, like I, I connected for the application that I'm running, but if not, it, it's more dynamic. Uh, I don't know how to do. If there are no more questions, I'd ask you to give another round of applause for our speaker.